There you are. Uh, let's see if I got anything fun in the here. Well, I heard that. That's you. I'm popping on your video real quick to save you to the playlist, and then I'll pop back out so I don't see what you're doing. There's no particular uniform that really was the whatever. Alright. Shall we get rolling? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a journey back in time. Back in time to 1920. It's the final four teams. This, the conference championship on one end, uh, I guess you'd call this the Eastern Conference Championship. As it's the Akron Pros versus the Dayton Triangles. Akron at 8-0-3, undefeated on the season with the real-life champions. They are led by Hall of Famer Fritz Pollard. Dayton, who may someday become the Baltimore Colts, depending on what you believe. I believe it. Are 5-2-2 two and, two and had a huge upset over the Buffalo All-Americans last week. So it's classic rosters with modern football. I will be controlling the Akron Pros and John M., Yep. And the Dayton Triangles. Alrighty. Was that you sharing the? Um, broadcast. Not, there was something else. No, keep that. Oh. Dang it. I was working on it, and then he ended up being it. So. Oh, I got two notifications. That's because uh, the Daily Wire popped up. Oh well. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ah, sure. <coughs> Don't mind me and my humming. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> so Frank Bacon, the quarterback of the Dayton Triangles, we're gonna try and snuff out the sizzle today. Yeah, uh, of course they run right into the block. Uh, Dayton got here once the playoffs started by upsetting the Canton Bulldogs in the only game that wasn't me versus John. And then they upset Buffalo in the divisional. Akron survived a test against the Cleveland Tigers as um, the Tigers missed an extra point on the final second of the game. Mm -hmm. Well, with no time left, actually. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be a face mask. Wow. Face mask on Rip King. He was ripping. <laughs> so Dayton gets a free first down. Well, we make jokes. Yeah, we, we make jokes whether they're funny or not is no story. <laughs> Some of the looks I'm getting from Courtney over here. I just want you to know she was very generous in allowing me to interrupt her episode of Grey's Anatomy to get on. Of course, we appreciate it. We, we do very much appreciate that. And she did manage to throw a remote at me. It's okay. I'm all right. And the remote is okay. <laughs> Lou Partlow on yeah, the carry. He's holding the ball like a loaf of bread. She's looking at me like, yeah, nut job. Secretly, she actually does enjoy these because she enjoys the funny little conversations we have. Speaking of conversations, we need to get on with the other couple and come up with a uh, yes. weekend for camp this year. Oh, yeah, we got to still figure that out. In a month, we've got to figure out the, uh, the, the football weekend. Yep. Hopefully, we're hoping for September or October. Oh, that would be awesome. I mean, I'm on vacation in November, but yeah, so I prefer the better weather. Right. <laughs> Dayton wasting no time going for it. Ooh, I thought that guy was like, he did break away. Ah, oh! oh! Coming across at the last second, 
is Johnson. Pike Johnson. Pike. It's the ball. Right you watch that work. It's a little bit more entertaining though when it's me and Vinny. No doubt. Because Vinny's got good dad jokes. Well, maybe not necessarily good, but they're dad jokes. And go with the here. Rip right King on. rips one off. Nice run for the highest rated team in the league, the Akron Pros. That's why I, I really wanted to pick Dayton because they're the Colts franchise, but uh, yeah. I think this one time try to went with Akron. Oh, he's Scotty Beers drops the ball. Turned the ball loose and brings up second down. He kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. So the other day, I'm listening to the radio. Mm -hmm. And they were talking about whistling. And they decided, this is on my way to the dentist, by the way. They, oh crap, I saw Ooh. him too. I was like, yeah, he ain't gonna move. Uh huh. Yeah, so what was I thinking? So, anyway, they said they'd have a, they had a whistling contest. Okay. So who could whistle this tune the best? Now, <clears throat> let's see how smart you are in old pop culture. Do you get this tune? Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's the end of Griffith. Yes. They, they were told to talk about like it's, it's it's not that easy of a tune to whistle. I'm like I'm not the best whistler in the world, but I can whistle it, so it's not that hard. Yeah, right. You just gotta know how to carry a tune. I mean, I suppose if you don't know the notes exactly nor how to apply the pitch to your whistle, I mean, if you're sure, a millennial and has never seen the show, right? And lots of millennials don't know how to whistle either. Bacon is fried up in the backfield by oh, we got an injury to Dean Reese. Triangles. Dislocated finger. finger. Man. Oh. Do you remember our flag football days at, uh, at, in college? Uh, Dave Reese. I once, the ball tipped off my left ring finger, dislocating it to the point where it was it was bent backwards, and I, without looking at it, because I might have thrown up, popped it back in place and kept playing. It's a finger. Take care of it. It's 1920. Hey! My brother just got on and he even knew the song. It's the Andy Griffith Show. We lost connection. John M seems to be dead, gone, or something. I lost my controller. <laughs> no. It died on me. Oof. So <laughs> even though you were risking a delay of game. <laughs> Yeah. Bacon comes up and sizzles the pass to somebody. Helby. Helby. Who's that? That is like, Chuck Helby. I'm like, everything went quiet, and all of a sudden, and the TV is like, the game's still going. It's like, oh crap, I can't do any input. Controller like, died. <laughs> oh, he got the pass off just in time. Oh, my brother's at work. Well, don't get in trouble while you're working. Or whistle while you work. Yeah. I don't know that tune. Just think of the seven doors. Yeah. No, I know the tune. I don't know the tune. Like, I can't whistle it. <laughs> it's not in my head. Lou Partlow just the run game, they'll be looking for more of that. No uh no defense on the left side there. Here's the tech to be my right side, but uh, I'd say right side, strong side. The only problem was is I was running double tight, so it's not really a strong side. See see that fall over there that they did there? Where my guy got the first down because of it. Apparently, the whole glitch is is that you, in the backfield, it would always be 
falling back. Or not falling yeah, back, but fall forward. So This update we just had this morning, shouldn't have taken care of it? You got it hold should it. have. That was a pretty... Holding on Hobby, Hobby Kinderdine. What? That's a Hobby weird Kinderdine. <laughs> I mean, I it's 19th. Of... Dude was born in the 19th century, okay? Well, you know... We should give him a sword and a uh, knight's outfit. Not because, I don't know. That may not be historically accurate. Who knows? Oh, jumping in and knock down the pass as Charlie Winston is called for holding. What is up with Two him? holding penalties in a row Man. for triangles. This is ridiculous. They want to hold, and there's no reason to hold. It's not like you got the Tasmanian Devil on your defense. I do have Prince Pollard. I got one Hall of Famer. You do. I'm assuming that's the dude this, with the star. Wait, there's two of them with stars. No, he would be the only African American player on the field in 1920. Wow! Oh, he just ran through the and ball. He still too. dropped oh, it. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, thank God. My lord. Oh. We should. Pollard break. just ran. I I ran too far. I should have hit the triangle to try and catch the ball. And oh. I should look got up, play without a holding ball. I should look up 1920 vulgarities. Because I'll bet you they're, I'll bet you they're hilarious. Oh, that's a vulgarity, but zoot suit riot. That's a good song. We actually played that song in band. Oh, you fell forward again. In high school, you fell like right? they didn't wow. fix it. They did not know. fix it. That was a screen pass, so and you tackled him from the yeah, back. You, you <laughs> fell like five yards forward, though. Hey! Oh, this is not... You know, my girlfriend is trying to give you a playing advantage. Because <laughs> she's got cold hands. Oh. Did he get the first down? No, he did not. Ooh. That was a few Should yards shy. That was a 20-yard line. His pass is complete to Thiel. That would be... That would be Dutch I'm Thiel. <laughs> She's cracking up over Dutch here. Back I'm assuming that was her payback for the whole... Uh, yeah. Taking in the middle of the TV show. <laughs> she is cracking up. <laughs> well, I don't know what he was doing there. Well, all of a sudden, it just opened up snowing here. Did it? Wind blowing. Oh, it's March 4th. Knock it off. Yes, and my green truck had to go into the shop for some body repairs, and so I got to use the old black truck, which is okay because the old black truck does not like the super cold weather and should be able to run from March till, like, December. Theoretically. Hollerin on the reception. Tom Hollerin. He had to come back for the ball, though, so he lost the first down. Right. And it's a second down. It'll be second and two. The cold Bob assault Nash is done. Bob Nash had the reception before that. Facing a second and two after that last As uh, Fritz Pollard is checking over that triangle defense. Which one has to ask? Am I talking about the Chicago Bulls in the 90s? Right. Rip King. Spins away while you were holding a space mask. Maybe they didn't fix it. Look at this. Huh. My brother just said, May the fourth be with you. No, that's in two months. That could have been it. Yeah. If somebody gets a tackle where it looks like the defender should have knocked them backwards and they don't, then uh, we'll know if they fix it or not. Oh, what happened there? Holy he threw cow. it and Did it bounced off out? the player's head. Cutler. H. Cutler. Who's Cutler? From Dayton. Dayton. Uh, that would yeah. be... Mm, Harry Cutler. Harry Cutler, another no-college guy. So now second and ten after the Left tackle. First down. Right, here we go. 
No, they fixed it. Oh, there it went backwards. Oh, it's my guy. Yeah. Left outside linebacker. Uh, bruised ribs. He's got to sit out for a little bit because he's got a really high chance of coming, getting injured again. So we got to give him a little break. Yeah. We don't want him to get... <laughs> Unlike in Sack to the Future, we're not going to make him go replace him at left tackle. This is... This is more of a, just a me versus John competition with um yeah. Wow oh. Your field part low. Picked off right around the forty five oh. yard line. So Akron put up forty six points in the divisional playoff and uh, Fritz Pollard has only thrown two interceptions. Jeez, we might get out of the first quarter without any points. I don't, know, I don't like the fact that you get to 25, but still mm. a minute to go. That helps. Yeah, right? And that wasn't a trying effort, was it? That was a winning effort. How about that great catch? Excellent. They know, hey, you lose this game, you get a ding or two. You got seven months to heal. They're going to go all out. They'll look to throw. Oh, I jumped right by you. Yeah, he's got it. He wasn't in. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you were in, but... Um... Second catch of this AFC title game, but he's got a first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure. They're not even going to review it. No. I, I ran by you twice. Ugh. Alf Cobb on the sack. Come on. The worst thing that should result is an incompletion for you offensively. But Brandon... Oh, he cut out of this time. First quarter without any. <laughs> wow. I think it was Alf Cobb in the second sector. Let me tell. Don't know the numbers because they didn't wear numbers in 1920. <clears throat> I need some coffee. This is interesting. Normally, <sighs> normally there's points by now. You know. Well, Phantom Fighters watching, he'd appreciate this. And yeah. now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down, following two negative plays. Detroit! Detroit! Back to throw. Oh, there, first play of the second quarter. Touchdown. As his guys are in for six. I needed something there. It's like, I gotta adjust six. him. He ain't gonna be... Dave Reese on the reception. Dave Reese. <laughs> Bacon to Reese. Bacon to Grease. Like the great great grandfather of Kyle Reese, who in the future comes back in time to save the human race from the evil. Isn't that now our past that he comes from? Um, well, we yeah, I guess. Technically, I don't know. It depends. I guess. I mean, he went back in time to. 85. But when did he come back from? Now I'm curious. I don't remember what year they came back from. It was like, they thought it was like 2040 or something. you break the ice a little bit? Like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? And maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever's going to take the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. A gain of three, second down. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interception. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, yeah I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. The Terminator, 1984 film, yeah, the year 2029. Yeah, okay, he was sent back so, no, to 84. We have not passed it yet. Okay, so he came from 2029, right? Yes. Okay, that's right. I think Still it was... 10 years in our future. Of course, he spells Reese different than that one. So I guess I totally screwed it up. Oh, well. We're going to go with it anyway, because it was funny. You little. Pass complete to King. They're down in three.
So it's Guy Early on the tackle. Versus Guy Late. Hmm. I don't know. Mike McCormick on the reception. With it, he had Ooh. he had triangles hanging all over him. Frank McCormick, sorry. <laughs> I don't know where I got Mike from. If, if the if the face mask is practically non-existent, is there really technically a face mask penalty? I guess you grab him by the nose, maybe. Well, I guess. Well, if I hadn't made that move, I could have gone. Cause yeah, because I, I was going to miss it. Yeah. But I anticipated you not whiffing it and made a move and moved right into the other guy. <laughs> See? My technique worked. On a Pollard to King on a five-yard reception. Oh, there's too many triangles around it. I see the momentum get killed there. There's too many triangles. I wonder if they called their defense the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> I need more interceptions for that to happen. Yeah. You already got two. What, how many more do you want? Oh, let's go for record in the game. Or in a game. Come on, King. Get upfield. There you well, go. Bacon totally. I don't know what the heck Bacon dived at. <laughs> Bacon was diving at uh, the meat. Yeah. God, that pass, if it was any more shallow, could have been the uh, Music City Miracle. Yeah. Which wouldn't happen for Let's another 70 some years. <laughs> 79. And if we are uh, on the pace we've been at, maybe 10 years. Yeah, right. <laughs> By then, we'll be doing this in VR football. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing. I don't know how good that'll be. I'm over 300 pounds now. Yeah. Put some weight Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Five well, pass that's interference. That's a flag. We do have a yeah. Frank Bacon. He had him covered. Yeah. He goes greasing up the receiver. <clears throat> Sure. You know what I'm going to say. The defender have a right to the football as well. No, I just, I don't like defenders. Well, this is That's going to spend too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. Back to throw here. Oh, thank God. Al Mart drops the interception. The blue light special was not open on that one. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Incomplete pass. He, you can actually see him strike at the ball there. Third down and ten for Akron. My brother says he has that tune stuck in his head. Which one, Andy Griffith? Oh, must be Tid. Tid on the sack. Tid. Nice. That would be Glenn Tid. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from. Is that you whistling? Wow, yeah. That's a high view. I don't need that to be that high. And Vinny gets himself on the board. Not good. Not what I wanted. Right now in the uh, Blast from the Past series, I lead four games to three. 
Or is this will be the only year that we only have. No, that's not true, because once these uh, defunct teams disappear, we'll have less AFL play, AFC playoff games. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. The play fake. He'll look to throw. He's gonna walk one. Oh, never mind. I thought it was gonna be one on one. Apparently, he does there not was have three the pros. Arms. There was three pros covering every angle of that triangle. Yeah. What is that? That sucked up in Scotty there. Scotty I don't know, but there was a huge gap in the defensive line right there. That's not good. They're down in six. Oh, I ran right by you. Mm -hmm. I had the inside leverage, you'll see right there, and I just ran right by it. Yeah. Let's see here. Jeez, you got like eight guys up in the box, nine guys almost. And he ran right by it. Nobody even touched you. They had to be holding somewhere. Oh, I'm sure. Partlow, nine rushes, 84 yards. Now you're having the running game that I had last game with McInerney. Right. You know, the sad thing is, is and this will happen every season, no matter who wins this game, it's my team in the Super Bowl. Right. <clears throat> so, I have not... Use the Dayton triangles yet, and I could be forced to use it from the Super Bowl. Oh, he comes up with the interception. Harris, Harris on the interception. Keeps the triangles out of the end zone again. It's fine, at least it's, you know, it's Dayton this year. And then, in the, okay, let's continue on to that theory. Let's say um, we get into the NFC Championship and I win. So, oh, I'm going to have a hold. The team you won with, I control. The team I win with, you control in the Super Bowl. Uh -huh. That was only, it's first and nine. What was that penalty? Uh, I believe it still was holding <laughs> because... Um, because you holdings, accepted it so quickly. Yeah, but holding's from a uh, spot from the foul. Or, right? So it must have been one yard so past the first field. down line. Yeah, it must have been downfield. I didn't see who the player was. Here's a play fake as they set up the throw. Uh, Pollard to Nash. Whoa. I'm almost losing my headset here. That had the total feel. Of a quarterback in control. So, um, put you on the spot while we're on the broadcast. There's three games left in Sacks of the Future for week six. Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? What am I doing? Oh, yeah. See, that was kind of a push forward. But, oh. um, where gosh. are the Giants and Oilers? Are two of the three. I mean, do those gotta, are the main I, control I Rams are sick right now. Do I got any roster moves I got to do for, for any game? No. You did the Giants move the other night when we were on, so you're right. good to go. Well, seeing as, let's see, this will be done. I'll have to do them to, or at least one of them tonight when I get home. They'll set up a throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get it out a couple yards. Pollard hits Beers on the quick hitter, but, uh,. I'll probably do Giants tonight when I get home. So that'll be the Giants versus the semi-pro Atlanta Falcons. Yeah, that works. 
Couldn't turn it into much more. They're going to look to throw. Wow, okay. Oh, Bacon comes in and throws his helmet in there. Is that what you call me something? What's that? I'm surprised there's no missed phone call because uh, the shop was supposed to give me a call, but oh well. It stopped snowing again. There's just enough on the ground that I've got a snowblow at some point today because we're supposed to get 6 to 12 inches tomorrow. I thought that was supposed to be like last night. No, it's coming. Ooh, he gets beers the high step. Oh, he got in. Oh, he's Pollard to Beers. He just pierced the defense. Yeah. Right in their nipple. That would be unheard of in 1920. Yeah, right. Well, maybe Pirates. I don't know. Were the Pirates in 1920? They're Pirates now, so you'd think there had to be some. Oh, Pirates have been around since, like, forever. Jack Sparrow. Yeah, I don't think any of them were named Jack Sparrow, but, hey. You know what? That's an interesting name that is not in the, um... Why am I doing outside kit? Sack of the Future. I don't know. It's not in the... <laughs> <coughs> He's not... In the Sack of the Future bonus Easter egg, yeah. Jack Sparrow. He yeah. will be one of the next free agents signed. Uh, that's not going to matter. Yeah. I tried to audible to straighten my guys out, and I ended up going on to kick. Said, yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, it looks like you're going to have some lake effect or whatever coming in. Yeah, so it's, no. it's not, not going to be anything that I'm going to deal with. You finally, we play a screen pass, right? Oh. Holy little feet pounding there. Damn. A big play there. I could hear your player's feet just paddling away. And the cold strike quickly here for six points. And that was a really weird play because the way he threw it, he didn't have the arm to get where he needed to go. No. The coverage just broke down, and then Fritz Pollard, was the who's the fastest man on the field, was not close enough to eat. Ten more yards, he would have caught him, but... Right. <laughs> All right. Here's the situation. A minute 24 to go, trailing by four, but we get the ball at the start of the second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And that last of course, drive, that has backfired on me before, that. so. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? Yeah. I would think yeah. that they would, because if they were <laughs> confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident Ooh. about what they're pursuing. That was weird. continue to do so, because the second <laughs> Pollard to Beers for the first down. Why did he? He was spinning. How did he get tackled like that? I don't know. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. Nice play by Rip King. Ritz Pollard finds King in the flat. King spins through three triangles. We can talk all we want 
Couldn't have done that better if I tried. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there. So what you're saying is, is you should try. To make a bigger play. Yeah. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker, or maybe a defensive end drop oh. in his own blitz, he's going to win that battle just that about. Time to pass is incomplete to Beers. Why are they suggesting he's going to do that play? Because they, they know the situation. They do, they don't care. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, yep, okay. Back to throw now on second and ten. And the hit Whoa, what is that? <laughs> you grabbed him by the knee as he was going down and he dropped the ball. <clears throat> Third down and ten. <laughs> he grabbed him by the something. Maybe I should have everything looked pretty good until yeah. the finish. He like stopped him instantly, like Rrr. I thought he had the catch. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Mm. Oh, he dropped it again. Right in your hand, Sweetland. Man, I thought you were about to call him Sweetland. 47-yard field goal. I don't know about that. 47 is long for these kickers. Yes, it is. 47 was long for Scott Norwood. Whoa. Come on, Sweetland. Hold on to the ball. Okay. First down. We're going to get a timeout <clears throat> instead as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. They made goal line offense a priority. It's first and goal from the five. If 16 seconds to go. Situation they've been prepping for. They'll look to throw again. Ding! I had an open receiver. Hit the button. I looked down and saw that he was being. I was being dragged to the ground. So <laughs> that happens. Can't throw the ball in that situation. Situation. Second and goal. These next two plays are huge. They'll drop to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, how was that? That what was that? I thought that was a pitch. <laughs> why? Why do they want me? To, oh, there's only three seconds left. They want me to go oh, for eight seconds on that play. Kick a field goal. Oh yeah. They want me to kick a field goal. Yeah. Oh, I should have ran it. I I thought that the back would go up. I pushed him up. Use a playmaker. Yeah. And he went, so I pushed him up and then hit the pass because it would have just been a dump right over your the right. defender into the end zone. But he ran left instead of up. Huh. <clears throat> the, the, the funny thing about that is, is the defender went with the guy, so I should have ran it. <laughs> but Garrett catches it in the air. <coughs> Triangle's coming up with a... Actually, probably a, a rather normal kick in 1920. Yeah. He skulls the ball. It's a one-point game. Oh! And Dellinger for the triangles. Dellinger. That would be Larry Dellinger. What a running start right back to Man. the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 <laughs> yards to go now on second down. Now back to throw. Flush to his right. Oh, the pressure's nah. so great. I was just trying to let the screw up the tackle. Hey, uh, Shane, if you're still watching, have I been wrong my whole life, or is your name spelt wrong on YouTube? 
<laughs> well, I'm pretty sure your last name's spelled wrong. Maybe I'm the one that's been wrong my whole life. Oh, the tip drill. Darn it. And we're still trailing. So it could have been a 24 to 13 game had we done it right. You know, there was a sound effect when I touched your toe as you ran by me. Uh, I heard a crack like I'd hit you. Part low this time, part low. Just knocked backwards. Oh, come on. Fritz Pollard. Oh, and part location. It is misspelled. I thought so. It was like, am I going nuts or have I been spelling Williams wrong my whole life? <laughs> that would have been awkward. Oh, apparently my father has squirrel worlds go squirrel worlds, yeah. Squirrel wars going on in his yard. <coughs> and as cheesy as my father is, he could probably write Oh, oh. I should have paid attention to the ball. He could probably Pollard like, is having the worst series. game of his life. And he's three interceptions. That was he's probably throwing a couple more that should have been intercepted. But then again, Bacon's thrown three or two. Yeah. He, he, yeah. Oh Lord. I should teach my father how to stream. So he could take and do these little updates on his uh, squirrel war. Oh, you can you can <coughs> stream to Facebook or YouTube live from a phone. It's not that hard. Yeah, I know, but my father's just weird. <laughs> like his post. Go ahead. He only gets a oh, four yards on that. So, yeah, he, he is he, not he, having. <laughs> no, I was going to say, he, uh, his post, he posts, alert, alert, alert. The nutty front is now active again. My best spy wifey spotted the enemy attacking the seed barn and tweeter's feeder. It's like, oh, okay, that sounds like a freaking kids' cartoon show starting up. <laughs> King falls forward for a couple more. All right, now we got to get another interception. Third down and one. King is not having the rushing game that McInerney had. <coughs> so, once we get through week six and sack to the future, we'll be, I do got to fix the Bears numbering system, or the, I'm sorry, the Staley's numbering system for um, the next blast and pass game. It should be ready to go by like Friday or so. All right. And then all the editing will be done, and we can go right into the Super Bowl <laughs> the next day if we want. Sounds good. We can finish 1920 by the weekend. Oh, oh my God. Steal the interception. God, I crossed his back. I love that. I love that QB spy. 
much. We've seen this work. That QB spy has netted me more interceptions. I have not figured out how to use it. I have tried, but it's uh, a manual I know it's an adjustment. Individual yeah. Assignment. yeah. I usually just pick one of the two linebackers that's blitzing and set him on it. But, pardon me. Partler with a Oh, he's gone. I've got nobody that can catch him. Pollard, Pollard was the hope, and he ran right by him. <laughs> a great effort there. An 80 yard touchdown. And the Colts add on to their lead. If there's one thing we've learned from Sack to the Future, it's don't go into the uh, playoffs undefeated. Right. That might be a missed extra point. Yep. Just drifted a little too far right because I put it too far right. That well, keeps you in the that reach, that though. I mean, yeah. you ain't well, got to I mean, well, try for the extra. Right. I stopped it too early. Brown will take a knee. Matt Brown out of Syracuse. Who was this in Syracuse yesterday? Yes, how was the WWE live? Good, good. Um, I haven't been to an event, uh, any kind of wrestling whatsoever since 2008. So it's much different now with the women's revolution. Half the half the card was women's matches, which is uh, nice, especially um, considering that Nikki Cross had two of them and She's one of my favorites. Right. She's crazy. Oh, he's gone away. She beat both of the Iconics. Um, the YouTube channel that is known by the name of the World's Worst Wrestler took two or three of my live videos with my permission mm -hmm. and shared them to his YouTube channel. So if you are interested in seeing our truth and Carmella's entrance, the end of the AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, WWE title match, or the entire... Charlotte Flair versus Asuka women's title match they're on his YouTube channel now just for those of you who are watching it's his YouTube channel is the world's worst wrestler the world's worst wrestler he do, mostly does podcast type things um, I, I haven't really watched them all I think it's in Cape Fabe which is a wrestling term and if you don't know what that is it just means he keeps everything in character but um, they are fan cam shot with a cell phone mm -hmm. from the upper deck. So you got to remember that. And the quality is not going to be Monday Night Raw. It is using my Stylo 4 phone. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And by the way, we have a tie game now. Yeah. One play. Pollard to Nash. Okay, I'm going to try something. Uh, pardon. No, too. No, not gonna try something. Uh, nope. Never mind. Oh, well, it worked out in <laughs> Nash with us. <laughs> Nash all of a sudden having himself a third quarter right here. <laughs> <laughs> The Colts on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third down and 12. Hey, right on cue. They set up the screen and complete it. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Really? I lost a yard on that? That works for me. Fourth and thirteen, or AKA my birthday, four thirteen. <laughs> Looks like the offense is going to take another shot here. They're going on fourth and thirteen. They're going to try and throw. Me to the quarterback. Al <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apparently the Al ball did not fly. I'm like, I got him. And that then gives us a, never threw the ball. That gives us a first and goal. Yes. 
yards for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something take it. more on second and goal here. Here we go now. Green, 39. And they'll go with a ground attack. Here. Wow. Uh, he did really? not get in? How did he go sideways at the end of the run there? <laughs> I was I pushing know. forward. I don't know. He pulled the freaking, uh... Oh, what the heck was... <coughs> Keyshawn? No, not Keyshawn. Uh, I know you wow. the, the giant there that... No, the no, 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 Eagles, Eagles against the Giants. Ten years yes. Ago. Westbrook? No, it was the receiver. Oh, God. I can't. There's a sneak. Man, Fritz Pollard powers his way in on the sneak. Oh, um, Hall of Famer gets six. Gosh, this is your first lead of the game. It is. No, I led seven. No, I went three. You went seven. Never mind. Yes. Um. Well, when you give me ten yards. Yeah, right. That's the negative of your video game strategy. It is. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. I wonder if they should go snowball before the kids get out of school or after. Deshaun Johnson, right? Is that who it was? Deshaun, maybe. Oh, no. no, he's the one that dropped and put the ball down on the one. He, he did, but he, he was also... Game. Yeah, it was Deshaun Jackson, that's it. Yeah, no, same, same guy. Because uh, it was the, the miracle at the Meadowlands 2 where they punted to him, and they were told not oh, to punt ran. to him. He yeah. ran all the way back. He ran across the field to... Turn up field. Wow. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying there because they tried to turn him up field and he didn't turn. We were playing, we were thinking of two entirely different plays. I was thinking of in 2000, because I was down to fish downstate. Yeah. Uh, 2007 or 2008, there was a, a play with the Eagles that might have been against the Giants, I don't know, where Brian Westbrook, or Byron Westbrook, Brian Westbrook. Uh, yeah. fell, fell down on the one and then because they were leading and he didn't want to run the score up and then afterwards he had to hear people were complaining that he hurt fantasy numbers by doing that and he was like I don't really care about your fantasy yeah, football. Yeah, I, I remember that. No, and I don't, I'm not sure if that was even, that might have been even the same game. Maybe not. Maybe the same season though. No, because the, the Miracle in the Middle Ends 2 happened when I was closer to home. Oh. I remember watching that yeah, at the power plant. They told Matt Dodge Sailing not to punt it to Jackson, kick it out of bounds. And sure as hell, he kicked it to Jackson. And Jackson ran all the way back, and before running it in the end zone, ran along the goal line, not going in to kill time, instead of just scoring, which would have still allowed the uh, Eagles a really good chance to win it, whether they wasted time or not. It was something like. Ooh, he goes up with uh -huh. one <clears throat> So that was the first time in a long time where I almost threw a controller through a television. And I want to say that was what two thousand. That was two thousand seven, two thousand eight, somewhere around there, because I had. The old uh, oh, where I was, inch DLP. Where I was at the okay. time. I just had it. I was just say where I was work wise at the time. It 2010, was my bad. 2010. Yeah, I was gonna say because I was on my old job. Yeah. Partlow has over 200 yards rushing. My goodness. Does he? Oh, yeah. yeah. 208. Well, he had that really big uh, yeah. play there, 80 yard run. Yeah, that was December 19, 2010. Uh, oh, okay. Got it. They'll look to throw. 
Wow. Right, QB spot. QB that, spot. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you got to make the adjustment quickly. But yeah, you do. Works. And when you come yeah. out of the huddle, when it comes out of the huddle and they're freaking uh, showing the sideline, right. you, you lose time. Yeah. I always use the right two button to get myself squared away because, yeah, it shows your, your defense and stuff, but it allows you to get set up quickly. Yeah. Wow. Yep. It works nicely when it's uh, on the right play. That's for sure. That's the end of three. Akron leading Dayton. 27-20 in the Ohio Championship. Yes, this is the Ohio Championship game. The other one is the Greater Chicago Championship game. That's weird. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Let's go! Blue Lady! Blue Lady! Watch it now, Barney! Barney! Gotta try it here. He's back. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. That could have been, uh, oh man, yeah. that could have been the game. That could have been it. Well, I don't know about the game, but it would have put a little bit more urgency into it, that's for sure. <laughs> it would have put me into the position where if I got the ball back again, would have gone into play-killing mode. Yeah. Keep the sticks moving, right? Keep the clock going. And above all, ball security. Don't turn it over. And they'll run it here. Get out of the end zone. Well, they say he did one yard line, but Close. they have easily been two points yeah. the other way. But Brandon Pace comes they don't give the ball to the third the third man the back from the center the on the one yard line. Can't get out of the end zone. Play, Almost you know, can't. Back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast. Wow, that was weird. That's one of those where he fell forward. Yeah, it's yeah, still there. That's... It's not completely fixed. Right. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swim, at least you, yeah, at least you got a little bit of breathing room. They consider safe. Yeah. Bengals on third down. They're at fifty percent. Four for eight. This is third and four. He'll look to throw. Oh! oh! Partlow, get in there. Jesus. Damn it. <laughs> oh, he almost messed that up and didn't go in. Oh. <laughs> six, six. Well, he couldn't get it on the ground, so he can't. Oh, come on. What is going on there? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that's the first oh, blocked field goal in 19 that, that we've is, had. That is. That's, that's the first crazy. blocked field goal in last in the past history, or extra point. Block kick of any kind. Yeah. I've had plenty of them in sack to the future. Oh. Well, I haven't, but I've had them happen to me. Yeah. What a, what a strange event that lasts like five plays. That's crazy. Oh, man. Oh. Akron is definitely having to fight for their wins. Hmm. All right, here we go. Boom, <laughs> on the ground they go with a running back. Oh. Three yards. Three yards in a cloud of dust. 
offensively with the lead you want to run the ball keep the clock going but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too right so how do you do that and not come back on your heels yeah think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this second down and seven so I got um, the red and the red Atlanta Falcons helmet in the mail today. Yeah, yeah. And what I want to do looks like <clears throat> I was I was born in '79. What I want to do is I want to get all the 1979 helmets and put them up on my my office, like hanging around the. But I'm not quite right. sure how because if you hang them too high, they're not gonna people aren't gonna see them. And I don't have the hugest office in the world. And I don't think my wife would let me put them in the living room as much as they would look come, nice. Yeah. Come down about two feet. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rearrange. Just stuff, above think, like he head level, but not right at the ceiling. Yeah. I only need to get 28. Because there were only 28 teams 40 years ago when I was born. And if I go alphabetically, Atlanta's the first back then. Buffalo will be the next one. Oh, forward, Harry Harris. Harry Harris with the first down. His only first carry of the game. Oof. Where are we on the field? 37. That's third and three. Going for a fullback is a risky play, but yeah. especially when I saw you pinching. But by the time you, I had five seconds left when you started to pinch, so I was like, well, I really can't go through audible right now. I'm going to have to do it. I'll find out. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. So here's my idea using Maximum Football 19 when it comes out. Blast from the past spinoff, Maximum Football style. Now they'll run it on the toss. A 16 team tournament. Just what you mm -hmm. first now, down the first couple years there weren't 16 teams, so. So the <clears throat> what do you think? Then we do blast in the past no, NFL and blast in the past college. Yeah. It's going to take a little longer to create the teams because I'm going to have to create it from scratch. But by the looks of what they're doing, it's easier in maximum 19 than mm -hmm. maximum 18, which is really I, I enjoyed the concept of the game of being able to use college rules, Canadian rules, NFL rules, but the creation was hard. So, but it looks like they've improved it. Oh crap! I forgot I had motion. Motion. <laughs> oh. So the delay of game penalty backs him up. It's now second and seven. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Two. As he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before. Five interceptions I've thrown. Really? Yeah. Feels like it was less than that. I figured there was like three. Well, that last one really sucked. The Bengals on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third and seven. Oh, come on. You were ready for it. Right that over his head again. He's not right close. Around. When I yeah. when I loft the ball, he's, there's not a lot of loft out of ball. No, there really isn't. Straight, that was pretty much right down the... That was, that was pretty laser -ish. Just enough over your head. Yeah. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and ten at the 48-yard line. And yeah, we're under four minutes to go. Wow, we're over an hour so far. Yeah. About an hour and ten minutes. And 
Uh -huh. Got locked right in the bacon. Just a yard on the first it happens. Area, so it's oh, yeah. I don't want to like about walking the into bacon. I mean, yes, the leftover bacon in my fridge. I'm thinking I'm going to eat lunch yeah, when I finish exactly this game. Right. Yeah, right. Still within a possession. Just so bacon. I, don't, just I have some. Ball, well, I have some uh, bacon ranch salad, too. So bacon and bacon ranch salad for lunch sounds good to me. Yeah. I got to get something going here. <laughs> Even Vinny hates waiting, but <laughs> it's the smart thing to do. Yeah, especially when you're down or up by one. Yeah. If I can at least get a field goal out of this, force you to get have to score the touchdown. No, it's this has been a long one. We got 2:40 left, and he's going to use his first timeout. Yeah. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining. He says you're not her friend. <laughs> sorry. He says sorry. We have an episode of Total Bella. She wants to watch. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And they'll go on the ground. Come on, fall forward. Okay. You got five out of that. Fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. Fifty-five yard field goal is too far. Yeah, yeah. A punt though, with one point lead. One that ain't half. That ain't a good thing winning. either. And we'll be back. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Wow. It's just, just uh, bad formation. I figured you were going to go like uh, QB Sneak or something. Yeah, I probably should have in hindsight. I burned, burned about three minutes off the clock. You burned a lot of time off the clock. Oh, he, oh, he dropped it. Oh, he dropped it. And now Thiel is injured, so you're down uh -huh. a tight end. I got to be able to get in the field goal range with these guys, and that's going to be a pain in the butt. What? I didn't QB see him. I told you that works. You shouldn't have taught me how to do that. Listen, you shouldn't have taught me how to do that. You got to learn from your opponents, don't you? You do. That might seal the deal. No, I still got to run the clock out, though. You got one timeout left. Oh. <clears throat> That's your third interception. Oh, my God. Parlo oh, trip. Nice block. Come on. Nice block. Wow. You could have subbed the, the play. You still can. You played twice. With yeah. two-minute warning. Uh, it doesn't... Partlow tripped over the player up on the wow. field. <sighs> that trip helped you big time. Yes, it did. That was just nuts. Why is it too? Oh, you did use the timeout. Ah. Uh huh. <laughs> With my, we're celebrating our birthday. That's nice. That's Google Play Store. Second and nine. Tri 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 Triangles cannot stop the clock again. No, but I still have to get the first down. Yeah. <clears throat> Not like that, I'm not. Oh. So third and twelve, this is a huge play. And now it's third down. Gosh, this is this is a tight freaking woof. 
chess match like, here uh, in the last <laughs> Akron, for for being the for being the undefeated team. Akron has been in some dogfights. Yeah, forty six forty five against the Chicago or the Cleveland Tigers. Thank you, God. <laughs> oh, man, 41 yard, 7, 40, 58 yard field goal if you try for it. No. No, I'm going to um, let the. I'm going to. Since you can't stop the clock, I'm going to tell no. you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a five yard play of game penalty. And All right. <clears throat> this will get me down to 30 seconds. You'll get the ball at about 25 seconds, depending on how I handle the punt. Uh oh. Yeah. Hopefully I can cough and corner the shit out of this thing and make you have to go 99. That'd be impressive. And yep. the play clock is going to run out here. 32 seconds. And that'll set them back five. <sighs> Gosh. The Bengals bring out their punter now. Deep here with his first punt. Ooh, nope. Oh, it's in the end zone. Oh, no. Oh, you the got four. it at four. Nice wow. Six yards away. <laughs> oh, Whoa. Down. Rip King just ripped the punt, ripped the hell out of that punt. Oh, Lordy. King has had this himself is... the game. Wow. Man. Seven seconds are left. Now you get a decision. This is about a fight of a game, dude. This is this is like good. Wow. Oh, oh, why did you catch it? Oh, wow. <laughs> Harry Harris, who had the big fourth down run earlier. Yeah. Oh. You can't catch it. Knock it down. As, as uh, Tom Jackson would say, knock it down. Yep. Big play is an understatement. Oh my god, how did he catch that? That'll end it. Wow. Harry Harris. He watches interception. He goes up and over him. Yep. Oh, I have a, I have play ball on. I, I just oh, yeah, yeah. back in the first quarter when you were when you burned me on that one play, I immediately went and adjusted to play the ball. Yeah. Nine interceptions in this game. That was a good game. Yeah. Fritz Paul will kneel it, and the Akron Pearls will be off to the Super Bowl. That was good. So we are going to attempt to bring you the Chicago Championship game on Friday and the Super Bowl on Saturday. That is the goal. Wow. So uh, John will get to choose between the Decatur Staley's and the Chicago Cardinals. And um, I get to take the Akron Pros to the Super Bowl. What a game. That was a good game. Make that resolve to come back and do it again. Much better than the last game we played. Oh yeah. <clears throat> it's gonna be a difficult off season for them. The two hundred yard it's rushing effort from uh Lou Partlow. And that'll close the books on the conference yeah. championship. Yeah. For you had two hundred and four yards rushing so and yeah. Partlow had two hundred and eight, so the rest of your guys were negative. Crap. Right. The Super Bowl. Yeah. Harry Harris and Rip King are the heroes for the Akron Pro proposal. Wow. All right, until next time, I'm Vinny Vincent. He's John M. Thanks for joining us. We'll 
see you for more Sack to the Future action on the John M channel later this week.